thick is about an eighth of a head. And these are generic measurements, so I'm going to guesstimate at that. And then I'm going to put in this triangular slope like a chicken beak. The beak of the chicken, which this is so wet, it's just moving all over the place, but that's okay. And once I push this back, I realize that, oh, that's back all the way across there. So that disappears. Let's, let's cut that off. <laughs> big jump, big step. Does that make sense? Okay. Can you turn it over so you can see what? Well, I'm trying. I don't know. How far over? Well, because we can't see this side of the head to see what it looks like. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All I did was make a triangular cut, recede it, and then just cut it off. All this got to go. All right. Right? All right. If you get that gone, on a, and this is a so-called so parallel cut out here. All right. Where was I? I think we got this in the right place. Okay. Let's establish the front of the cheek. This right here, underneath the eye. If I take a straight line from the forehead, or somebody would clean my knife. Forehead, this part, right here, to the middle of the jaw. Okay? Straight line, straight cut into the nose. See what I just did? That ain't there. So I'm gonna start with the front of the teeth, which is a little teacup compared to the arc of the head. And I'm gonna recede round right back to that cut. Oh, that made a big difference. Is there, I did that. <laughs> Let me do it again. Now, this does not finish that little project. We're going to finish it or push it on back where it really is because this just establishes the front edge and then it actually recedes <coughs> from this point. This will recede, recede back to the widest place of the cheek. But before I do that, okay, we're going to make an egg out of this big business, which means when I hold it up here, the only place that should be touching my knife is that little section right there on each side of the center line because it's round. It's an egg, remember? We made an egg once upon a time. So if I take this, and I just start, I'm looking at the profile now. And this is way wet. I'm, it's like peeling a potato. Do you see what I'm trying to say there? I'm looking at that profile. I'm trying to get rid of the square edges. Oh, let's make it round. So. And remember that the egg you're making, the small part, is at the front. We've already decided where the width was with the temple bone. Then this is pretty wet. Now I have an excuse why it looks bad. Mm. Told y'all. Oops, cut too much. 
Now, not only is it an egg and rounded from this profile up here at the top, which I cut off too much there, it's also round from the back view, meaning you gotta cut these corners off, right? And the width of this process, sternocleidal process right here, is actually a fraction wider than the jaw or a half a head. In other words, it's still got to go round and recede. Is this making any kind of sense to you? So, so I'm going to quit. Because we're a long ways from the price of tea here. Uh, we're not finished, but at least we're establishing the arc and the, the roundness. You need to pick this up and look at it. 